Hey guys, welcome to my channel and another episode of Shop My Stash. So if you are new to my channel, this is basically a way that I rotate through my makeup collection to make sure that I use everything. Now this FabFitFun box always has my unused makeup, makeup I've never touched before, brand new makeup. So I'm going to pick out a palette today, but I think what would be really fun is to do things a little different for next video. So I want to do a poll on which palette that I should bring in for next week. So I think for this week, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the BH Cosmetic Foiled Eyes. This is the first palette. That is what the palette looks like right there. This had super good reviews online. So this is what I'm gonna bring in this week. And then the only other thing, cause my drawer or my box is like getting super empty, but I do have more stuff from boxes that will go in there eventually. But, and then I'm gonna bring in this Cargill's eyeliner in Dorado Beach. And that is a swatch of Dorado Beach right there. It's just a pretty gold color. So for the pull, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you everything that I have. So this is the Foiled Eyes 2 palette. That is what it looks like. The paper just flew out of it. But this is the Texas palette in their baked blushes. Then I have the Cargo Getaway palette. Then I have the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. And then last but not least, I have the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic palette. So there will be a total of five palettes for you guys to choose from to see what you guys want me to bring in to shop my stash for next week. With that being said, let's get on to shopping my stash. All right, so this drawer right here is my foundation drawer. And I think what I'm actually gonna do, because I have foundations in quite a few of my projects, so I think I'm gonna actually just bring in a small mini one. And this is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation and the color is euphoric and that'll be all from this drawer the next drawer has concealers bb creams cc creams and color correctors okay so i'm not going to bring in a color corrector or a bb cream or cc cream but i am going to bring in a concealer so i think i have not used this one this is an elf concealer i have no idea what the name of it is it's just called sheer not really sure if I'll like it, but I really need to start trying some of these products out that I don't use to see if I like them, if I need to use them in other ways, or if I just need to declutter them. So that's the only thing I'm gonna bring out of this drawer. Okay, so this drawer right here has all of my setting sprays and my primers in here. I'm not gonna pick a setting spray, and that's just because there's one that I'm really working on and it is almost finished, and then I have one in a project. So I think for this next week, I'm gonna work on those two and hopefully at least one of them will be gone and then I can choose one from the drawer. And then I think I'm gonna bring in this Dr. Brandt Luminous Primer Base and that's gonna be it because I have another primer in my stash right now that has a couple uses left and I really wanna finish it up. So I'm just gonna bring in this one and that'll be it. Okay, so this drawer right here has all of my mascaras and then back there are my liquid eyeliners. I don't need anything from this drawer right now, so we, will, we won't be pulling from this drawer this time. All right, so these are my single eyeshadows. They're either cream or liquid base as well. And I'm doing the One Week One palette this week with the Foiled Eyes BH Cosmetics palette. So I'm not gonna bring any of these. This drawer in. right here, as well as this one down here, have all eyeshadows palettes in them and I'm not going to bring any of those in either since I'm doing the one week one palette. Okay so this drawer right here has all of my bronzers and face palettes in them. Also setting powders which I don't use a lot so I think this time I'm actually just going to bring in my Kat Von D shade and light palette and that pretty much has everything I need in it to do a face so this is the only thing that I'm going to bring in this time around. Okay, so this drawer right here has all of my highlighters in it, and I think with this drawer this time, I'm actually going to bring in this Wet n Wild The Sweetest Bling Highlighter, and 
I think that'll be it this time because I actually have another wet and wild highlighter that I am putting in a project that you guys will see tomorrow. So that'll give me two highlighters to play with for the week. So that'll be all that I'm bringing in this time around. All right, so this drawer right here is all of my blushes and I still have not had a chance to fix this drawer yet, but I think this time I'm actually going to bring in. All right, so the two blushes that I'm gonna bring in this time around is this Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in the Princess Daiquiri's. It is a beautiful, beautiful blush. And then I'm going to bring in this L'Oreal True Mash blush, and this is in the color Tender Rose. It is a very pretty color as well. And that'll be it for blushes. All right, so this is my lipstick drawer. Excuse the mess up there. I really need to clean my vanity. But for this drawer, I think I'm going to bring in... Okay, so what I decided to bring in is I'm going to bring in this little mini of the Tarte Lip Paint in FOMO. And then I'm gonna bring in this Lancome lipstick and the color is Designer Bloom. And that's what it looks like there, it's been very loved. And then I'm gonna bring in this e.l.f. pencil lipstick in the color Natural. Okay, so these are the swatches. This is the Tardis Lip Paint in FOMO. This is the Lancome lipstick in Designer Bloom. And then this is the e.l.f. lipstick in Natural. And just bear in mind, I do have four other lip products that I am working on painting. So that's why I only bring in three lip products so I can try to rotate through all seven other products and try to get use out of all of them. All right, so this little container here holds all of my eyelash stuff, my eyeliners, lip liners, lip glosses, chapsticks, and brow stuff. I'm gonna bring in an eyeliner and I'm gonna bring in some lip liners. So I'll be back with so these are all of my eyeliners, but what I chose today was this sample of the Marc Jacobs Highliner in black. I heard that these dry out the little samples. I don't know about the full sizes, but I have heard some people say that the samples do dry out pretty quickly. So I actually want to use get some more use out of this before it decides to dry out. And then this is all of my lip liners. I don't have so, so many of them. What I decided to bring into my stash this week is this Lorac Lip Pen Pencil in Duchess. This color sensational lip liner in Purely Nude and this Urban Decay lip liner in Naked 2. All right, so this was my makeup drawer for the past week. So let's go through it. I did end up using this foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse foundation. It's more of like a creamy whipped foundation and I found that I actually liked applying this with a brush better than I liked using the Beauty Blender. So I do like this, I just, I didn't like it with the Beauty Blender. This is the concealer that I've been using for the past week. This is the uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I've never used a Tarte Shape Tape, but this actually worked pretty good. It wasn't like the best, but it did work pretty good and I enjoyed using it and for the price it is definitely worth it. I think I need to go a shade up on this. I got the lightest shade I think that they sell and now they're completely sold out at Ulta. So I definitely am going to repurchase a different color. I will use this one but I just think that this color especially with summer coming up is going to be way too light for me. So for primers, I always keep a pore perfecting primer in here and the one I'm working on is this one right here. It is decent. I still like my Makeup Forever one better. And then I'm, I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizer. I'm going to keep this one in here because this one is almost gone. So I'll have one to replace it once I do finish it. But I am going to take out the Smashbox Radiance Primer. I do like this. I enjoy it. It's really pretty on the skin but I'm gonna take it out for now. And then this Wish Botanical Primer. I'm gonna actually keep this in. I don't have much left of it, and since it is like an organic product, I kinda just wanna use it up before it goes bad. So that's why I only brought in one primer this time around because I wanted to actually try to work on this one. All right, so these are the three lipsticks that I brought into my, no, I brought four. Sorry, these are the four lipsticks that I brought into my collection. And I did end up using them because I actually had this stash for eight days rather than seven because I just couldn't record on Sunday. So I did use all of them. This is the Laura Mercier lipstick and happy. It's really beautiful. I enjoy it. It doesn't stay very long on the lips, but I do like the formula. 
And then the Revlon HD lipstick. I love this stuff. Have for a long time. I have three different colors in that one. I really do like the formula. Now this Superstay 24 color from Maybelline. I love this, but for some reason, I haven't used it in a while and this was fine. It just, when I used this right here, this is supposed to be like, you put it on after your lipstick dries and it's supposed to keep your lips feeling moisturized because you have a really drying lipstick on your on your lips because it's a, it stays pretty much all day long. It really does. But what I noticed is when I use this on top of this, for some reason this time around, it like started chunking up, which I really didn't enjoy that. So I took off my lipstick, just put on this, and then didn't use that, and it was fine. So I don't know what's going on with this part, but I did not enjoy it this time around. All right, and then this one right here is so funny. I have a friend from work. She's watched my, started watching my videos, and she told me that she really enjoyed this lipstick. And she really liked the using the other end just as a lip balm. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she said, this cap comes off and it is a chapstick. And I'm like, I didn't even know that. So I've had this forever, never been used. Now I have used it, but the other end has product. I had no clue. So I do enjoy this lipstick. It is really, really good. I love the packaging. It's a very pretty color. So I did enjoy this as well. All right, so these are all the lip liners that I brought in. They are a decent formula. This isn't my favorite formula, but I do like them. Actually, my favorite lip liner to date is from The Real Her, but these ones are okay. All right, so this is actually new to the stash. I actually brought this in because for some reason I couldn't find my Stila liner and it was mixed up in some other stuff but so i did bring in this color cover girl intensify me uh it's like a liquid eyeliner it's it's okay it's i like the steel one better but this one is decent and i don't do a wing liner i just do a line on the top of my lid all right so these eyeliners that i had in my stash this is the la colors this thing has completely dried out. I can't even really use it. It's showing up right here, but when I try to apply it to my, my waterline, it's really hard and I can't really get product to come off. And I had to kind of push a little hard to actually get the product to come off here. So I think I'm going to declutter this one. This Burt's Bees was decent. It was nothing to write home about, but it was okay. And then this NYX eyeliner and this one is in Esmeralda. I love this. It is so beautiful. It's just like a really pretty green color. I really, really enjoyed using this one. And I didn't end up using this Milani eyeliner. I really need to give it a try. I just washed my brushes Sunday. So hopefully I can get to using this. I didn't have a lot of clean brushes left. So I just kind of set this on the back burner was like, oh, well, I'll use it when I get my brushes clean, so I will use it this time around. And then this little sample of Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. You guys, I really did not expect to like this. Why? Because this pencil is so little. I was like, I'm not gonna like it. It's too little, I'm not gonna be able to work with it. And then the color on top of it was dark brown. But this stuff worked amazing. I'm really, I love that I love it, but I'm like, oh, it's expensive product. But they do have this going to be on sale on the Ulta 21 days. So I'm thinking about actually picking it up, not in the dark brown, but the dark brown actually can make work for me even though I do not even have close to dark brown hair. But I really did enjoy this formula. It was super easy to work with and now I know why everybody raves about it because it pretty much makes your brow time cut in half. All right, so let's talk about eyeshadows. So these, I did not use this blush, but these are the Makeup Geeks. These, I love these. These are in my 18, finished 18 by 18, but this is a new one that I brought in this time around. The brand of this is called Deuces. I really honestly did not totally enjoy it. It's, I don't know. It really just, this eyeshadow really did nothing for me. I mean, this, I just swatched this probably four or five times and I'm finally getting color. So I really did not enjoy this. They're kind of expensive for their little pans. So I definitely would not recommend these. I just do not really like the formula or the color payoff or anything about them. All right, these Milani eyeshadows, single eyeshadows. I was honestly really surprised by these. These were gorgeous. They blended super well. They weren't powdery. They went on beautifully. They blended beautifully. 
and they were just amazing. I was really, really surprised how well they worked because I've never used a Milani eyeshadow before, so I really seriously enjoyed using these. They are just gorgeous. So definitely would recommend if you guys are looking for a single eyeshadow that is not super expensive. These definitely are worth the money. And I think I bought these at TJ Maxx. I don't know how much I paid for them. I can't remember, but they weren't that high. All right, this Maybelline New York eyeshadow. I don't know the color because I ripped it off, but I do like this blue. It works really good. I've had it for a while. And then these two were new. These are the color tattoo, and this is in vintage plum and creamy beige. Now, creamy beige is a little bit too dark to actually use as a base unless you're working with, you know, you want a darker look. These were decent. I don't love them. I'd rather, honestly, I think I just would rather work with a powdered eyeshadow than a cream based, but I can make these work and they are decent. I just, I don't think maybe these kind of eyeshadows are actually for me, so I need to stop buying them. This is the little duo Smashbox, and this is in the colors Turned On and Psyched. I really enjoyed using these. These are really pretty. I hate that the panes are so small, but I really did enjoy the formula on these. And then this MAC Selena, and this is in the color Frotos y Recutos, and it is really, really pretty. I love Selena. That's it for the eyeshadows. Oh no, I did. I had this Cover FX one. I really do enjoy this. I know some people don't really like it as much as I did, but I really enjoyed it. It is so, so pretty and it didn't crease on me. Some people, that was the issue with them. They said it creased on them, but I particularly really super enjoyed it. I never did a full like eye look with it. I just used it like in the center of my eyelid and it worked beautifully. I lie, there's another eyeshadow. Sorry, I brought in a lot of like just whatever eyeshadows this time around. But this is the Getting Sunburned. This was okay. This was not my favorite duo of them. If you see, this one is kind of, I don't know why, but it has like some kind of like metallic-y color in it. And I, I don't know. It's okay, but I just don't know why that little strip of dark color is in there. So that's kind of weird. But they were decent. This color is really pretty. I don't think I really in particularly like this one, but that gold was really pretty. And I wish that this didn't have that dark strip in it because it would be a really pretty color, but it's really hard to work with. So for highlighters, I brought in this Laura Geller highlighter. This is in French Vanilla. This is a baked highlighter. This is the first Laura Geller highlighter I have ever used and I loved it. This was so beautiful on the face. I enjoyed it. Definitely glad I got this little sample of it because I think it is amazing. It. And then this is the Vintage by Jessica Liebenstein. This duo, I love it. It's one of my favorite highlighters. Just definitely enjoy this. And if you guys are looking for a highlighter, I definitely would recommend these. These are gorgeous. I do have a single pan and that's like in rose gold and it's not as good as these. These ones are the Rosy Quartz and Chocolate Diamond. This one is so much better than the single one. I do enjoy the single one, but it's just those are better. All right, so for blushes, I had a few of them. This Studio Makeup Blush in Sahara. Definitely love it. It's my favorite blush. And then I have this Coastal Scents Blush and Bronzer Palette. This bronzer, like, shows up nothing on my face. It almost, you would think it would maybe even be, like, a highlighter, which, honestly, I probably need to try it as a highlighter. But it doesn't work for bronzing at all. This blush is decent. Just a pinky blush. It's decent. Nothing really spectacular about it. And then this, the Balms in Full Swing. I absolutely adore this. I do need to try to start trying some more of the Balm products. I was going to buy some stuff on their 50% off sale, but I was on a no buy at the time and I was being good at that time. So I didn't end up getting it. And now I wish I would have since I broke my no buy anyway. And then for bronzers, I had this Physicians Formula Paris bronzer. This is a decent bronzer. I just, I have so many Physicians Formula bronzers that I wish I wouldn't have went crazy buying Physician Formula bronzers because that is all I have pretty much in 
that's all I have to choose from. So I'm kind of getting sick of just having just physician formula bronzers, but I do enjoy them. It's just, I guess I need some variety in my life. All right, this is the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. I only use this to set my under eyes where I put concealer and I, I enjoy this. This did not make me look cakey at all. It was beautiful on the face. I've had it in here for a couple weeks now. So I'm gonna put it back for now. And then nothing new about my mascaras. I haven't finished any of them and I didn't open any new ones. All right, so I'm gonna put everything back and clean up this drawer, put everything in the drawer, and then I will be back. All right, so this is my drawer for the next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video, bye.